Hi everyone, it's me again, Miss Edna Vargas, and I'm going to work today with some expressions. We're going to start with something really, really easy and really necessary because you need to communicate yourself properly inside the classroom. Any, it doesn't matter if it is a virtual classroom, but it's really important we we use formal language and appropriate. Um, express, expressions and a useful language for you will be to know these expressions I will show you. For example, the first expression you will need is when you need to, uh, you're getting help. You need help or you're trying to get help when you are saying, hey, miss. I need something you first uh, you can raise your hand in zoom or in classroom or any any virtual environment we are going to work with and you can ask the first question you could use it's going to be what is the word for what is the word for and in here, the, the expression is, what is the word for? And then you will uh, add the word you need to know. So this is the expression, but here you will add, if you will, uh, if for example, you want to know something about baño, you will ask, what is the word for baño? And your teacher will tell you, well, it's restroom, uh, and you will say, oh, I need to go to the restroom or please may I go to the restrooms, kind of something, something. That's just an example. Another expression is, how do you spell? How do you spell? The, this word spell means you need, you want to know the, the letters included in somewhere for example if I, if I already told you restroom you will say how do you spell restroom and then your teacher or someone you're talking with will tell you it's r-e-s-t-r-o-o-m that that situation of telling each bubble is spell it's the action of spelling you are spelling a word then uh, if you if your teacher or, or, or in the class and going really quickly and i'm saying blah, 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 a lot of things you will see can you go slower please or can you speak more slowly can you speak more slowly if you don't get what I'm telling you in the virtual class, you can use it, this expression. Miss, can you repeat that again? Or Miss, can you can you speak more slowly, please? Please. Okay. What does another question will be? What does mean? Here, then we will learn of the use, the proper use of pronouns. You, ha, you can use it. What does it mean? Or what does um, restroom? Using the same example, what does restroom mean? And then we'll, I, I will explain you what does it mean. Or, or if you are reading an instruction for, for some activity. And you don't get it this is the, the correct or the proper question what does read mean what does choose what does match what does anywhere you don't get the, the proper question to ask is this what does the word mean can you say that again please Please, 
please please can you say that again as you can see we have we are using this verb can yeah in some classes we will learn the proper way to structure a question but as you can see the word can is at the beginning of the question so can you say that again please can you speak more really please uh, that are some proper expressions how do you say this word if you are reading something how do you say this word um, in some classes in virtual classes you already know we have a small place called a chat where you can write these questions if you want to ask me something. You can raise your hand and ask something like this. So if I'm giving the class and in the slide, I'm using a word you don't get, like don't, what's that means? So what do, how do you say this word? If you don't know how to pronunciate it, you can use this question. How do you say potato? How do you say restroom how do you say how do you this you are talking about pronunciation you want to know what is the correct way to say a word another question is can you explain the activity again please can you explain the activity again please so if i if your teacher is telling you to read or to join in groups and answer the questions or read or listen something and answer of what you heard and, and you don't understand like what what are we going to do because you were you got uh you got a phone call like ding, what does the teacher said you can ask, can you explain the activity again, please? If something happened with the internet or with something in your, at home, something at home could happen. And this is the proper question to request your teacher to explain the activity again. And well, those are, those are some common expressions for getting help. Now I'm going to raise them. These all these expressions you will get them. You will get them and you will get them in classroom. And in, a, in an image I'm going to include these expressions, but I wanted to explain them so you could understand how to use them in class. Another situation will be working with a partner. As you as you will know, here we are going to work in teams. Probably there will be three, three in each team or four or five. It depends in how many we are. So working with teams or working with a partner when we work with a partner we will probably need the following expressions the first will be I'm I'm ready are you ready I'm ready are you ready that is some question is when you already finish your activity and you want to know if your classmate already finished, you will say, well, I'm ready, are you? So, your, probably your classmate will say no. Just a minute. And this means he's working with the activity, he is still working with the activity, so he needs or she needs another minute. So, in another case we will you go first you go first when you have a, a team activity or a partner activity and 
you don't want to start with the conversation, you can ask your partner to start. And you will say, you go first. Okay, I'll go first will be the answer. I'll go first. Uh, what do you have for number one? Another question will be. What do you have for number one? Uh, I have. And your partner will say the answer he already has. If for example, let's say I have, I chose A or I chose B or I, I answered this way. That will be what you, I want to know what you have in your answers and your classmate or partner will say what he already wrote. Then we could say, do you want to be A or B? This is for conversations. When you have, for example, a dialogue, A say, telling something and B answering something. If you want, you, you will ask your classmate, do you want to be A or you want to start with, or you want to answer like B. And another will be, Let's do the activity again. And, okay, let's change rules. the last two we're going to read now it's that's it we're finished when you say no more we're not working we already finished both of us finished so that's it we already finished and what do we do next when you want to know what is the next activity we're going to work with and can i read your paragraph sure here you go if you want to read your partner's activity that this is more usual, that will be more usually uh, useful in a physical classroom where you can take the, the would take your classmate notebook. But in this case, well, it, if you have, a, I don't know, the chat, you can read the chat or, or show or ask someone to show on, on them. I don't know, it's like, um, you, so you want someone to show his or her work, you could ask something like that. Can I read your paragraph? Can I see your work? Can I see your activity? Something like that. Well, that is, or that word, the useful languages, expressions we could use in class. Remember, I will post all this um, in classroom, check the appropriate place where you will see the image that include all this. I hope this worked with. The, I hope you really use them and you really enjoy to start practicing and speaking in English since the first day of our classes. It's really important for you to practice your pronunciation and instead of saying or using uh, um, Spanish expressions or saying communicate communicating with your teacher or with me in Spanish these expressions will help us all to improve your English and to get the language faster so I'll see you in our class or in the next video Bye.